How many votes do we need tonight uh, to remove the president from office tonight? I just wanted to make sure everyone's clear on what the motion that's now on the floor um, does and does not do. Um, it is not a vote to remove uh, the council president. Uh, and Mr. President, um, I had asked earlier in this meeting about any ethical or other concerns that may have been may have brought about tonight's leadership revote that we just have discussed. And I've not heard any reasons why this is taking place. So as I do not know the specifics or what concerns are at hand here, and quite frankly as a counselor, since I'm much more concerned about the five homicides that have taken place in the last couple of days and we need to find ways to make our streets safer. Uh, I'm not impressed with the political games being played here tonight, and I also have to ask to abstain from voting on this proposal. Thank you, Mr. President. All your Democratic colleagues uh, had a problem with uh, the committee assignments that you gave to Republicans. Uh, a number of them sort of privately expressed that they were not expecting that to happen, and that is why uh, they voted to put on the agenda to remove you from the council body. What's your reaction? Well, I think what we saw here tonight is what a democracy looks like, where people are able to have varied opinions and take different positions and cast different votes. And so we saw our system at its best in terms of counselors being able to vote their convictions, express their concern, and so democracy is preserved. It was never threatened by our election. Uh, the week that we were elected, that very same week, we passed out of committee $300,000 for witness protection. We passed out of committee $55 million toward the criminal justice uh, complex. And so, uh, and DPW also met that same week and passed out of committee uh, the appropriations that were before it in that committee. So democracy was not undermined it because we were trying to work from a bipartisan perspective. Be clear that government works best when people are able to work together across the aisle.